Welcome back, folks. My name is Daniel. This is Psychology Teachings, where we talk about psychological concepts, ideas, quotes, or anything that can be remotely interesting in that field. Today, in this video, I want to talk a little bit about the idea of the uncomfortable. And we've heard the quotes before, you know, do something that scares you every day, go out of your comfort zone, do something that makes your heart beat faster, do something that gets your blood pumping. Why? Why would you ever want to do such things? Let's, let's break it down. What is comfortable? If I were to tell you, what, is, what does being comfortable mean? You would say, well, Daniel, being comfortable, firstly, revolves around knowing. You're usually comfortable when you know the situation. There is no uncertainty. You've either been there before, you've done this activity before, you know the individuals who are around you and you feel relaxed. That's being comfortable, right? If you've done it six days out of the seven in a week, it's nothing new to you. So usually you feel relaxed. Usually it's convenient. Now, what is uncomfortable? Uncomfortable usually brings with it uncertainty. Being in situations where maybe you haven't been in before. Having to have courage and step out, possibly taking the initiative. Being the first one to step forward while everyone else watches. Those could oftentimes be very nerve-wracking. They can bring with them anxiety, panic, sweaty palms, heart beating faster. Now, when we talk about comfort zone, a comfort zone is basically this area, this little safe box where everything is easy, right? You're, you wake up from sleep, you lie in bed for another hour or so, checking on your phone, swiping through all your social media, going through YouTube, watching a couple of videos until you decide to get up because that's comfortable. You go sit on the couch, crack open some potato chips, lean back, binge through Netflix because that's comfortable. Now, when we compare comfortable and uncomfortable, we know that the comfortable has short-term gain, whereas the uncomfortable has long-term gain. Let me make you an example. So let's say you do, you choose to stay home. You crack open those potato chips, you stay on the couch. In that moment, it's short-term gain. You're going, oh, great. I don't have to move a muscle. I can just relax, keep doing what I'm doing. The uncomfortable would say, you know what? It's not easy to get up, change clothes, put away the chips, and get out that door. Right? Especially when it's raining, it's pouring out, it's cold and wet and windy. That is uncomfortable. But as soon as you get out that door, and whether you're seeing your friends, you're going to go work out, whatever it may be, don't you think there's something that you gain? Now, whether that's going to be a testament to your character, your discipline, your, your perseverance, don't you think maybe that will start shaping your mindset and not just sitting on the couch, but in any situation? One of the best sayings that uh, I've heard all the year is this. Do the uncomfortable. Do it over and over and over again until you turn the uncomfortable comfortable. Thus expanding your comfort zone. See, the first time when you do anything, it is uncomfortable. When you're learning something new, when you're speaking to someone new for the first time, you're in a new location, you're joining a new club, it's uncomfortable. What happens two weeks in, three weeks in? You start getting used to it. You start meeting new people. You start doing it over and over and over again. All of a sudden, it's not uncomfortable anymore, right? You talk about, you know, talking to different people or whether that can be pitching a business idea to your boss, asking someone out, whatever it may be, that initial you know, heart rate speeding up and you getting all excited and in fight or flight mode and the body going off, all of a sudden that starts to die down and you start to get good at it. Now, the problem that most people face is once you start to get good at it, you can't get stuck. You got to keep moving and you got to keep bumping it up. Whenever you're faced with a decision, you can think to yourself, what is the more uncomfortable thing to do? And do that. Because that, it's is what's going to help you grow and learn as a human being and be a little bit better than you were yesterday. It could be anything. It could be you're sitting on the bus. Maybe there's someone sitting across from you. 
and you have your earbuds, obviously, because everybody puts in their earbuds. Nobody talks to each other on the bus because that's weird. Now you're thinking, what's more uncomfortable? Putting in my earbuds and avoiding eye contact or starting a conversation with a complete stranger? Whether they be my age, guy, girl, doesn't matter. Obviously the, the second one. So what do you do? You do strike up conversation. And if it takes you five or ten minutes to even say something, that's totally okay. Because guess what? Mess-ups happen. Embarrassments happen. What are the odds they, they start speaking back to you? You get a conversation going, you learn something about them, you get a name. Isn't that what networking is all about? Is the first time going to be scary? You bet it is. How about the third time? Of course. The fifth time? Sure. But after doing it again multiple, multiple, multiple times, what have we done? We have done the uncomfortable. And we've done it so many times that we have made the uncomfortable comfortable. Next thing you know, you can go sit on the bus, relax, and they go, hey man, nice shirt. Hey, how's it going? Like second nature. And then once you get good at that, you find something else that makes you feel uncomfortable. That, my friends, is how you expand your comfort zone. You push yourself, you challenge yourself, and the sense of fulfillment that you gain is absolutely indescribable. If you take one thing away from this video, it should be that. Do the uncomfortable. Do what others don't want to do. Take that step. You don't want to? Awesome. Even, even better motivation. You don't feel like doing it? Who says your feelings get a vote? At what point did you let your feelings, did you let your fears Decide your quality of life. Do the uncomfortable, my friends. Take it easy.